Hi, how you doing? I'm your host, Richard D'Souza, here with the Rich TV Live podcast with a very special guest, the CEO of Secure Private Data, Alon Giai. How you doing today, Alon? Uh, hi, Rich. Hi, everyone. Happy to be here. Doing good. Thank you. Fantastic. Great to have you back on the show to discuss the breaking news on Secure Private Data. Can you talk to us a little bit about that today? Yes, so we are launching Secure in German language. And there's a reason for that is that Germany is the fourth uh, biggest uh, country in terms of search of our products. So we have the US, we have uh, UK, some Canada, Australia, and then Germany is up there. And you know, once you have it in German, you can market to what they call the DAC, D-A-C-H, that's Deutschland, Österreich, uh, Schweiz, that's Germany, Austria, Switzerland, uh, because German is the dominant language in all these three countries. And Germany has recently suffered quite a lot of cyber attack. The top three IT agencies for the federal government have all been compromised and by default stole, uh, you know, they, they got data stolen, that is federal government data. And I think now in Germany, there's a bigger awareness of, you, you know, you have to protect yourself and privacy becomes a big thing. So big news because that's a big market. You know, we're talking about over 100 million people you can target. And we plan to complete all of that before year end. Congratulations. That's some huge news. And can you elaborate on the German language launch? Where will you launch first? Well, we're going to launch in Germany because we have a demand there. Uh, we have German customers already. And we have an agency we're discussing to target Germany as well. Obviously, you know, I'm from Switzerland, so Switzerland is going to be the next one and then Austria and Switzerland. It's easy for us to do because we can just turn on the, 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 the ad words and the meta ads, etc. And um, eventually what we want to do is offer support in German as well. But right now it's just going to be a web launch and at least uh, people will be able to have the service in German. Alon, we noticed you announced a partnership in Morocco. Are you expanding in other regions in the coming year? Uh, yes, so we have the Moroccan partnership. We have actually another uh, potential partnership in Morocco as well. These partnerships are done with uh, representatives, so they're not necessarily big companies, but they have the local contacts to sell our solution to telecom, government, or enterprise. Um, that partnership came from our rep in Qatar. We have a rep in Qatar we've had for a few years who is scouring the whole Middle East, North Africa for these kind of partnership. We will be announcing other partnership in uh, the Gulf countries very soon. And uh, that is directly with a big IT company that is based in Canada. Uh, of Egyptian origin. So they have their offices here, Egypt and the Gulf, and they have about three, 400 employees. So they do about 80 million in sales a year. And that will be announced soon, especially for Saudi Arabia and Oman. They've identified target companies. And this is in relation to our enterprise solutions coming up uh, sometime later in November. Because in those countries, it's not so much the individual that will pay $10, but it's the enterprise market. Uh, having said that, the U.S. is still the biggest market. But when you have an opportunity without upfront cost to expand in the Middle East or Africa or any other region, you want to take those opportunities. Which market would you say is the biggest now and moving forward in the next 24 months? The U.S. by far, by far is the biggest, and it's going to be the one that we focus on uh, the most, obviously, that we would spend the money the most on uh, for the next, I'm going to say even the next five years, because you have a target addressable market of about 70 million people looking for privacy solution, um, you know, and then you have 30 million small, medium businesses. We want to target a percentage of that. Business email compromise becoming a huge thing in the US and we offer countermeasures for that. Lately, if some of you have uh, read the news about 
the banks being fined because their employees are using WhatsApp or other solutions as such. The SEC is actually coming down on these financial companies and giving them fine. I think in the last year and a half, they paid so far two and a half billion dollars in fine. And that is great for our secure messenger solution uh, that can be launched for businesses. So I want to say to people out there, if we open a partnership anywhere in the world, it typically comes from a rep. So there's no upfront cost. And sometimes it's not a big company. It's just a small consulting firm that has the local contact that knows how to navigate the market. But our prime directive is the U.S. market, definitely by far. Well, we're here with the CEO of Secure Private Data, Alon Giai. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research whenever you're looking at the companies that we're featuring. In saying that, we do believe that this is a company that is very undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And please put the symbol on your radar, S-K-U-R in Canada, S-W-I-S-F in America. Alon, thank you for joining us today. Uh, thanks, Rich. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If I may, if you want to buy the solution, you can go to secure.com, S-E-K-U-R.com, and put the promo code PRIVACY uh, when you put your detail and your credit card and you get a 15% discount for the next five years. Thank you so much for your time. Once again, the CEO of Secure Private Data, Alon Giai, and your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live, saying have a nice day. Make sure you protect your data, and we'll see you soon.